Hello again, friends and fellow collectors. So what we have here today is a mail call from Mr. Chris's Junkyard Designs. Um, he's got everything packed up really well. Um, we did do a trade and he said he threw in some extras for me um, that he thought I would like. So I greatly appreciate it. I did cut the box open. I haven't seen what's in here yet. Um, so he sent me a couple of his channel stickers. So definitely be putting those on the back here um, as soon as I get a, a piece put up back here so I can start displaying everybody's stickers. And actually I'll stick them right in here to store them in a good spot. Um, he did write me a note. It says, hey Jason, hope you enjoy the box I sent you. Thanks for doing the trade. Uh, do what you want with the extras, Chris. So I'll put that in my thing, my uh, file with uh, um, all my other notes. Um, I didn't do hunting today, but I did get this box. So I'll show you what um, he sent. So he sent this right here. This is super cool. Um, love the Jetsons. It's from, you know, I remember this as a kid. So I'll probably end up taking this out and displaying it somewhere. Who knows? Maybe we'll put it here. Maybe we'll stick it somewhere else. I'm not 100% sure. And this is what we did the trade for. I'm not going to tell you what I traded him. I'll let him show when he does his video. But he traded me this for what I traded um, to him. So there is the trade. And all the rest of the stuff is um, just basically stuff he wanted to send me. So um, let's go ahead here and I'll go through and show you what he sent. So definitely don't have this this is super cool what is that mont mont moncito heights special that is definitely uh cool definitely like that that's definitely a sweet hot rod so we'll put that here and let's see here so he sent me an original one of these vans this is pretty sweet very very cool thank you very very much i appreciate this i like these vintage originals that's in really nice shape thank you sent me this porsche this thing is super cool love porsches so that one is really nice i'm not going to do any a lot of these i'm not going to do anything to i'm just going to leave them as is that's a super Super sweet Porsche. So we're gonna park that right there. You guys have to excuse me. My little dog's barking and my son's running the snowblower. So if you hear background noise, that's what it is. Oh, wow. This is super cool. This is a, what is it? Austin Healy, but uh, just uh, hopped up a tad. So definitely a cool hot rod Healy. Like that a lot. Thank you. I think I got one carted, but I don't think I have a loose one. And let's see, sent this. This is cool. I do not have a loose one of these. I like these GT40s. We'll put that right there. That's a super cool car. Let's see here. I've never seen this one before. I've seen it. I just don't know what it's called. Bogzilla. That's a cool little buggy. It's like a power wheels on steroids. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you, Chris, for this all this stuff. You didn't have to do all this extra, but I do appreciate it. No matter what, I appreciate it. So thank you so much. I've never seen this. This is the Ridge Rider, Raider. That's a super cool, like, Dakar rally looking truck. Definitely awesome. And we got this. This is like, a, almost like some kind of Lamborghini or something. What is this thing? This is called, You're So Fast. That's pretty cool. The wheels on that are pretty sweet too. That's a pretty cool casting. I've never, ever seen that one before. And then I got this. This is the 56 Ford, like, panel truck. That's definitely cool. I like those old, old like, panel trucks and stuff like that. We'll park that right there. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can, guys. I've got a lot of stuff in here, but go 
Oh, I do not believe I have this one, at least not loose anyway. I may have it carted, I'm not 100% sure, but this is definitely cool. Love me some station wagons. So that's definitely a cool casting. We'll put that right there. Ooh. I think he did mention that to this, to me, and this is the treasure hunt um, bone shaker. This thing is freaking sweet. I really like that. I've never seen it, but you know what? It's going to look really good right here on the back of that. That hauler right there. That's pretty badass. So we're going to put this. We're going to put this right up here. That's a cool looking hot rod. And I do not have this variation of the Purple Passion. But that is definitely freaking sweet i have a purple one in my collection but it's got like green it's like the original one with the white walls and stuff i've never seen this with a color shift paint on it that is awesome thank you chris so much for that that is badass i like that it's like a 50 50 merc or something like that but it's all customized and oh nice got a mopar here this is the Roadrunner. I know I have this one carted. I do not have it loose. So uh, this will probably be a pocket ride for sure. So we're gonna, put, I'm gonna run out of room here. Just put some cars, put them wherever I can find a spot, guys. Oh, wow. I've never seen this vari variation matchbox Mustang, but look at that. It's got gold wheels, white with a gold stripes, and like an off-white kind of interior. That is sharp. I like that. Thank you for that, Chris. That thing is sick. I definitely like that. It's different. Never seen it in that variation before. And another one I, I do not have um, in this color. I have one that's like a two-tone it's like a greenish color, like mint green or something. But must be he really pays attention to my videos because orange and yellow are my two favorite colors. And this GTO is sweet. Love the wheels on it. So that is definitely, definitely cool. Looks like I'm going to be adding to my pocket ride collection here. For sure. Oh, nice. I've got another Wrecker Matchbox. What is this? 20... 2005 tow truck. Look at that thing, guys. That thing is super cool. 24-hour service. We service all makes and models. Matchbox, Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning, you name it. If we can hook it we'll take it so we got that right there the new the newest addition to the the wreckers the wrecker service that's cool thank you absolutely love all this and sent me this classic packard this is a sweet sweet car i love this thing Love the wheels, love the color. That car is just all around badass. There's no two ways about it. Oh, wow, look at this. This is super cool. It's got premium wheels on it. It's a custom 52 Chevy. And who doesn't like SpongeBob and Patrick? Oh, and you got Gary. That's pretty badass. I like that. That might be a custom. Take the SpongeBob stuff off it and paint it up and do it. That is super cool. I like the yellow, the yellow line tires on it. That's pretty sweet. I've never seen that, but that is definitely a sweet, um, sweet truck. Definitely a sweet casting. I like that a lot. And we got this right here. This is a matchbox. TV news truck. 
I think it's really cool. I've never seen most of these. I've never ever seen. I didn't even know they made half of this stuff. So this is wicked cool stuff. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And another sweet charger with the flames on it. Definitely a sweet uh, Mopar. Another one. And this is super cool too. This is an old Firebird race car. That is definitely awesome with the yellow, yellow letter tires on it. Definitely, definitely sweet. Man, Chris, you didn't have to do all this. I appreciate it though, for sure. Oh, wow. 75 Chevy Stepside pickup. Look at this, guys. That brown and gold. That thing freaking pops. It's got the trailer hitch. That's definitely cool. I think I might have a U-Haul trailer or something that I can hook on the back of that. We'll we'll figure out something cool for it for sure. Definitely, definitely sweet. Man, he did a good job. He he knows my taste. This guy's got some awesome stuff. Oh no way. That is awesome. 63 split window Corvette with flames on it in black. That is freaking gnarly. With a tan interior, cream interior. Wow. That is amazing. Thank you, Chris, for that. That is awesome. That is probably going to be one of my all-time favorite castings is the 63 split window Corvette. Definitely, definitely awesome for sure. And then another van. Definitely sweet. And a nice Hudson Hornet police car. That is cool for sure. Definitely like these old. I'm just start setting them over here off to the side so they don't get marked up. Hudson Hornets are cool. I don't have a lot of police cars, but I do have a few, so that's definitely cool. Oh, nice. This is like a 67 or 68 Firebird. I've never ever seen this one before. That's definitely sweet. For sure. Put that one right there. And, oh, another color variation of the Charger with flames on it. Definitely sweet and purple, for sure. We're getting to the bottom of the box, guys. I know we're getting on 13 minutes, but I'm trying. And then we have this Lamborghini Centrionaro Roadster. Yeah. Absolutely awesome color of green. That thing is sweet. Almost done, guys, with the Lucy's. And then there's a few other things in here. And then I'll let you guys get to your business. I've never seen this one. This variation of the Borla Ford GT. That thing is cool as heck. It's nice silver. I've got a black one. And I think... Uh, Jake from Stick, Strictly Diecast sent me the Zaymac, and now I've got the silver one, so definitely, definitely sweet. And then we have this right here. This is the Mad Mudder. That's pretty cool. I don't even think I've seen that variation of it. And I do have this one carded, but I do not have it loose. Definitely a sweet Formula Firebird or almost like the Trans Am. That's awesome. Love it. Thank you, Chris, so much for all this stuff. You definitely gave me some nice additions to my uh, collection for sure. And then this variation of the Hot Wheels 
police car, the one that I just came out, like it was a mystery model. I think it did. It said Beach Patrol. That was, um, oh, it was red. It said Beach Patrol on it, but that's pretty cool. That's a nice variation. I like that. Oh, wow. This is a Mercedes AMG 6x6. Seen this in black. Never, ever seen it in red. That is sharp. I like that. That is really, really cool. Man, I don't know where you found this stuff, but this stuff is wicked cool. I appreciate it. Uh, this is awesome. Wow, look at this. Is that badass or what? It's a Nash Metropolitan. It's freaking stretched, ready for the drag strip. That thing is freaking sweet as hell. Wow, I like that. That's fabulous. Thank you. And there's a few more things in here. And then that'll be it, guys. And he did send me this. Oh, yeah, I remember he showed... He did show me this. I did see this. This is a five pack. I very well um, may open it. I may not open it. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but it's very cool. World Tour gift pack. So that's pretty neat. And then there's a few more cars here. And I'll show you guys what they are. And So we got this Mercedes C-Class. That is wicked cool. So I'll set that aside. I do not have this variation of the bone shaker. That is definitely cool. Definitely anything Moon Eyes is, is cool. I like Moon Eyes. A lot of people like that too. This is the uh, Fins and Rocket Lamps, I guess it's called. Dark Rider 2 Series. That's a really sweet blacked out blacked out ride so that's definitely awesome these cards are in great shape these are gonna get hung up and then this right here 80s firebird look at that that blue is awesome the white interior no lace wheels looks like it came right out of the 1980s freaking car commercial right off the showroom floor with the t-tops definitely sweet and then this cadillac ambulance that's really cool. Like that for sure. And last but not least is the 59 Chevy wagon with the canoe. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris, for all of this stuff. Um, I greatly, greatly appreciate all the extras. Um, thank you for the trade. You should be getting your box tomorrow. Um, I just can't thank you enough. Um, if you guys have not been over to um, Chris's Junkyard Designs channel on YouTube, go check him out for sure. Um, he's on Instagram too. Um, check him out. This guy has got an amazing collection. Amazing guy. Great guy. Um, got... I mean, I haven't even watched all of his videos of everything that um, he has. I'm just trying to get caught up. To, it's just phenomenal. Um, guy's got wicked, wicked awesome stuff. So, um, great guy. If you can get a chance to trade with him, you know, definitely do it. He's, like I said, he, he did way more than he needed to, but I appreciate it more than I can even express um, definitely got me some awesome stuff for uh, my collection for sure. Um, and yeah, just go check him out. Subscribe, give him likes, watch his videos. Absolutely great guy. Looking forward to doing more trades with him in the future. Hopefully, uh, maybe me and him can do a buddy build later on or something. Or, you know, I can do him a custom or something. Because this is just, I'm just blown away. Um by all the extras so thank you again chris very much hope everybody enjoyed my video like everything that i found um and uh like i said i won't be posting tomorrow most likely 
Uh, I got surgery in the morning. If I, I know I've got some boxes coming and I've sent out some boxes, so I very well may have something coming in the next couple days. If I'm up to it, I'll do a video um, tomorrow or the next day to see what I'm in for my pain level and what might come in the mail. Um, I won't be doing any hunting, I know that. <laughs> so, um, thanks everybody for watching. Greatly appreciate everybody that supports my channel. Um, and I decided, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, I'm gonna wait till I hit 300 subscribers and I'm gonna do a huge giveaway. Like I said, something for the 200 and then one probably big thing for the 300. I'm just gonna do a combo um, all-in-one video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna write names down, put them on a hat, pick numbers. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I still gotta figure all that out. Um, but once I figure it out and I hit 300 subscribers, I got some time. Um, maybe I can find some other stuff too to throw, throw in there to sweeten the prize pack. Um, but once I hit 300, I should know by then how exactly I want to do it. And when I do, I will definitely, uh, make sure I let everybody know and what you got to do to enter to win. And, uh, as soon as I'm able to do videos again, um, which hopefully be in a couple days, like I said, probably won't be doing much hunting. I know I've got some trade boxes that, you know, me and some people sent back and forth that I know I got some stuff coming. Um, I will definitely do a video and update you on that. So like I said, go check out Chris at Chris's Junkyard Designs. Um, great guy, great collection. Check him out, show him some love. We'll catch you in the next one.